My approach to my breast cancer patients is very individualized and it's based on my relationship with them and what I know of them as a unique person. And I think it's a little tricky as a radiologist because um, usually the first time I meet a patient is when I have to tell them that they could possibly have cancer. And it is tricky because there's no frame of reference for my patient or for me. I don't know them and they don't know me and we're meeting for the first time. And it's a very intense conversation. And I try very hard to let them know that I'm here for them, that I understand their fear and anxiety that they have at that moment, and that I'll continue to be there for them. My journey with breast cancer began with Dr. Campbell, and she gave me the courage to look at breast cancer not as the, at the, as the end of something, but as the beginning of a path that could certainly have a very happy outcome. And in my case, it did. Uh, when I come back for my annual mammograms, if Dr. Campbell is in the office, she always comes in and greets me with the kindness and, and the affection and the love that I know she has for her patients. I also really, really believe that Dr. Campbell was instrumental in giving me the strength that I needed in my early uh, experience to look at the process of, of eventual chemotherapy and radiation and surgery with an outlook that was uh, positive and informative and um, in a lot of ways fearless. The high-risk program that we've developed Every patient who comes through our center has their risk calculated by respected models, and that uh, risk calculation is put into their report so that when the primary care physician does see their patient, they're able to see what the patient's risk is based on these models. If a patient is considered high risk, we also offer counseling. And that counseling includes genetic counseling and it also includes a discussion of modifiable risks where the patient um, can find ways to decrease their risk as well. Uh, we also try to uh, bring in any other affected family members, sisters, daughters, granddaughters, uh, that may also be at high risk and have those patients also understand um, their risk and understand what they can do to decrease their risk. Receiving this award has triggered a, a period of intense reflection for me where I've looked back on the last decade and our, our work here at the Breast Program and recognize our accomplishments and it's also made me look forward to the future um, and know that we have a lot more to accomplish here.